Hey everybody, welcome back to another Udyr guide. Today we're going to be doing another Warrior Tiger build. But, this one's going to be pretty different because we're going to be building Mirror Mana. And before you jump to the conclusion that we're going to be building a lot of mana and less damage, well let me just point out that this one item that's going to be giving us all this mana is also going to be giving us 70 attack damage. Yes, 70 attack damage at the end of the game. And, on top of that 70 attack damage, all of our basic attacks are going to have an extra on-hit physical damage that's going to scale with our current amount of mana. So if we have half of our mana pool filled, that's going to be another 70 on-hit damage on top of the 70 attack damage. So if our mana bar was full, that's going to be like 140 on-hit. So here's my recent match history with this build. I think it's really strong. I'm not just making it up. I'm pretty sure I'm onto something here. Um, so right here was the first game I tried the Murrah mana. And I went 15 and 11, died a bit much. But I, I definitely fell in love with the build after that. And I've just been optimizing it. And all those optimizations it led to this video right now. So for the build order, I would say build Tier of the Goddess before you finish a warrior enchantment. I always say build a warrior enchantment as soon as possible because it's a big power spike. But in this case, we can start ganking a lot as soon as we get the tier. And we'll start getting the stacks as soon as possible for the tier. Um, but then the build order is pretty normal. So warrior. And as always, I would rush the TM mat because without it, we don't have any AoE. So this will help our clear speed hugely. And it'll also help our burst. Um, I will always build that into a Titanic, never a Ravenous because with all of our items together uh if this was a ravenous this is it's a lot of squishy items these three items never change warrior titanic man immune after all that we got two slots left to do our targeted defense as always just pick armor magic resist based on what you need but i want to point out that the iceborne works really well with the, the man immune because we, we're going to be getting 500 mana from iceborne and that will convert into more damage for us. So 9 times out of 10, this is what my build looks like. And it's only different if I need more armor specifically or more magic resist. This is really balanced and really tanky. This build right here. And 40% CDR. So not only do we have a ton of mana, but we're going to have maximum CDR to spend it all. Fun, fun. Let's talk about the runes and masteries. Same runes as my previous guides. The reds are attack damage. Quintessences are attack speed. And then standard defensive armor and scaling magic resist for the jungle. Now for the masteries, it's a little bit different. So we don't have any lifesteal items. So we're going to make up for that by using Warlord's Bloodlust. My other builds, I would say go Thunderlords. But, I mean, this has a 20 second cooldown. Um, it's only good for that one burst. I would say if you're trying to just gank like a maniac with this build, you're probably better off with Warlords. And since we don't have an extra item slot to build a lifesteal item, that's another reason to build Warlords. Alright, so, gonna start at Gromp, as always, regardless of which team I'm on. Gonna smite Gromp right when it spawns to get that poison buff running, get that fast as possible clear. Also, my Q is already activated, so the first attack will trigger the Q, burn, and then after two attacks, exactly two attacks, I will trigger Q again. Don't want to do any sooner than two attacks or any later than two attacks. You're either going to be wasting your burn if you put them too close together, or you're going to be missing out on your attack speed that you only get after you activate your Q. So exactly two attacks is the key number. Um, after the blue buff here, Whenever I'm on blue team, I will try to seal the enemy red because most of the time people like to start when they're jungling, they like to start with bot lane to get that better leash. So a lot of times I get a free red buff. I don't ward until I'm starting the red buff and I'll ward his raptors so I can see him coming. But I mean, he just, he just was in the wrong place right there. You should not have tried to kill that thing without any health. But uh, I will just continue along to take this. I made a mistake to level up Q at level 3 because I should have got Bear Stance. 
uh, I guess my reasoning was that since I already killed the enemy jungle, and bear stance is mostly just for when I'm fighting against champions, I figured I wouldn't really need my bear stance. I can just get the better clear speed by leveling up Q. But that mid lane looks like such an easy kill, where if I had bear stance, I could have easily ganked mid. Um, yeah, so Evelyn just lost half of her health. I just need a little bit of experience. And right there, one of the minions gives me enough to level up Bear Stance, stun him. It's a free charm for Ari. And we're off to a good start. So our first item goals are the Stalker's Blade and the Tear of the Goddess. So those together are going to cost us 1400 gold. So as soon as you can reach that, that total, I would recall and not farm if you have more than that much money already built up because you want to get you want to start the snowball rolling you don't want to sit on too much money so either recall when you have enough for the stalker's blade if I mean if you can get the tier of the goddess at the first recall but it's not important because um, even if you don't get tier of the goddess first recall you will still get it fully stacked by the time you finish mirror mana all right so down a bot lane I decided to focus Morgana here because I know that if I go for Trisana he's just gonna jump away but they do exhaust me um, I didn't notice that our AD carry had never connected so if he was there it probably would have resulted in a kill so that was my bad I didn't notice that that Lux was 1v2 alright so only farm when there's nothing else to gank with this build, because otherwise, I mean, what's the point? Just build a Hunter's Potion at that point. Tier of the Goddess doesn't require you to farm. Hunter's Potion, you need to actually farm the jungle to get your stacks. Got his flash, so I guess it was worth. And I'm just right now looking for something to kill. Um, nothing around, so heading up to top lane. Oh, okay, so that's looking like a definite kill coming up. So just switch over to uh, Tiger because I know that that one more Tiger Burn will finish him off. I guess this Evelyn right here totally tunnel visioned on this. Tom Kench with no health. So, I mean... Yeah, it's... it's uh, I got four kills, so it's not too bad. This is definitely one of the better games that I've had. A lot of luck. I mean, not every game's gonna be this good, but... There's a disclaimer. Not saying I'm good... This good every game. Um... So I just want to show you, show you right here, I'm going to give away the blue buff to my mid laner and I'm going to do a full clear of the jungle without having any mana and the tier of the goddess is going to give me enough mana to sustain through the entire clear. So you can see right here how much mana I have and I'm not going to show the entire clear because that's boring. But I killed wolves after blue buff and I'm doing raptors and then I'm going to go down to krugs. And the mana is regening at the same rate that I need for the Qs. I don't think you can keep your passive fully stacked, but you can at least get a lot of Qs. Um, I was going to recall, but this guy looks like he really needs some help. He reconnected, but he's real far behind. He should not be here, though. Yeah. Alright, so we got a TP coming in. Let's see if we can lock one of these guys down. Yeah, he's definitely dead. Stun. Q burn. Alright. And at the beginning of that, remember I had like no mana. And I actually have a lot more mana than I had at the beginning of the fight. So we got our warrior done. Our next goal is to get the Tiamat. So I just had enough for that health regen bead. 
I'll just grab that, I guess. <clears throat> Doesn't really change much because we already have enough lifesteal to keep ourselves full health most of the time. Alright, let's try bot lane again. Definitely gonna end up with something. Oop. I did attack move into that bush to automatically attack the nearest target, and it was a ward. So, attack move. Not always the best thing to do when you're walking into a bush, apparently. Alright, so dragon. <laughs> just, I guess I'm just gonna walk through mid lane. I really don't care who sees where I'm going. Because I know nobody's gonna do anything about it. Okay. He's dead. Take out this tower. Nope, never mind. Blue buff is up, so I'm gonna ping over my teammate. That's one great thing about this build, is I don't need to take all the blue buffs. But... Uh, it looks like I'm taking this one. He's busy. He he got a kill and he didn't die, so that's good. He definitely is going to recall, though. Alright, so I, I took that blue buff. I was headed over to Rift Herald. Um, because that's an easy solo. But I decided to help out my teammate real quick. And then I was just going to take the scuttle and then do Rift. But I got rudely interrupted. Oh, no. Uh, yeah. I'm ashamed. Well, I got my Tiamat, got my Swifties. Once you have the Tiamat, you are able to push lanes pretty fast. But don't try to push lanes before that, because you don't have any AoE. So if you want, you could just split push like a maniac, and nobody's going to be able to stop you. So, group phase. Team fights. See what we can do. Um, team fighting is really awkward with Udyr, it seems. Uh, so pretty much always in team fights, I like to run around the perimeter. I've said this many times in different videos. Just run around to the back. None of the enemies will know what to do. It's great. You'll either trap them somewhere or make them get caught out or just split up. I mean, and whoever gets split off from the main group is an easy kill. Right here, perfect example. Uh, they got two of them behind me, two of them in front of me. Yasuo is dead. Let's try to get this tower. Don't think it's going to happen. We're going to head down to Dragon, I believe. Just more uh, flanking. Even though this is a gank heavy build, um, your clear speed once you get that Tiamat is still just ridiculous. So you could still just get get rich by farming, but you're you're best off trying to get ganks if you can. I got my Titanic done. And my tier is already fully stacked, as always, around this time. As soon as I get that mirror mana, it's going to be another power spike. This game is just about over, so I'm going to wrap it up. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a comment if you have any suggestions or questions. Um, hope you learned. Leave a like if you liked. And see you next time.